Hey guys, it's Davin here from Brewbits.com. Now, one of the items we sell in the shop is the Bruon Auto Bottle Filler. And we regularly get questions from customers who have bought this because the instructions that come with it aren't exactly that clear. So, I thought I'd make a quick little video. To sterilise it, I'm simply going to make up five litres of sterilising solution in a bucket. So let's go through what the Buon Auto Bottle Filler is. Well, for starters, we've got this long tube that comes out of it. And at this end here, this is the big tube. This has got a sediment trap on the end. And more importantly, I don't know if you can see inside of there, James, there is a wire. Now, this is the tube that's gonna fit into your um, wine or beer bucket. And so this tube with the wire in means that you can bend it and that means when it's in the, the bucket, it will stay in place for you. Okay, so that's the big thick tube. And that leads into the main body of the Uwan Auto Stop fill, uh, filler. And then at the top, we've got this second thin tube. And that's our breather tube. And I'll explain a bit more about that in a moment when we're actually using it. Then we've got um, this flat part at the top which pushes up and down and that's to stop and start the flow and then we've got this big area here and inside of here is a diaphragm which does all the hard work running down we've got this rubber um, uh, part and that's to give you an airtight seal on your bottle and at the bottom we've got another rubber seal if i push it down this is where the beer or wine or cider will flow through hit the outside of the bottle and when the beer wine or cider reaches a certain level in the bottle the pressure causes it to pop up and the flow to stop easy as that there is an adjuster screw here i don't recommend you adjust that so although you can there shouldn't be any need for you to adjust it because it should already be preset so we need to sterilize the bottle filler so here i've got my bucket of sterilizing solution and i'm going to pop the long end in and using the um, metal that's in it, I'm gonna fold it over so it stays nice in here. So I'm gonna take one of the bottles and that goes on the bottom of the bottle filler so that we get a nice airtight seal with the rubber bump. And I'm gonna take a second bottle down here and I'm using clear glass wine bottles just so you can see what's going on. Until we get all settled. Okay. Right, so the thin end here is what we're going to need to be sucking on so that we can start removing some of the air from the bottle um, and start the flow through the tube from the header tank because this is your breather tube. So here we go. Here it goes. It goes quite quickly. And we press down and the flow will now start. Now sometimes you might find you might get some spurts coming out of your breather tube or you might get a little bit of excess beer cider or wine coming out. So it's a good practice to put that into another bottle. Now as the flow comes up, it will hit the bottom here. The diaphragm does its hard work and the flow, as you see, automatically stops. So we can now lift this out and we can put this into another bottle and keep going and going and going. But of course, we're just sterilizing it at the moment. So now I've got the sterilizer in here. I'm gonna leave it for a few minutes for it to do its job. So I've simply changed in my header tank the sterilizing solution for water. And there's still been a sterilizing solution in the system. So all we need to do is put it into an empty bottle, press the plunger down, Press the plunger down. That's because it had a little uh, air bubble and it will start again. You can see what the breather tube's doing now. As I said, this is why we put it in another bottle because sometimes it does blow a little bit, as they say. Okay, so that's one through. So we're gonna put a second load through for rinsing. As you can see, the blow off pipe's doing what it should do.
That's nice and easy just to let it do its thing and as it gets to the right level, clip, and it's done. Easy as that. Right, so we've rinsed our bottle filler, but now it's full of water. So all we simply do, hold that up like that. That is a direct line all the way through to a little hole on the end. So that's drained there. And this, you can simply drain. Sugar. By holding it up higher, so you hold the bottle filler up higher. Lovely. And then some in there. It's all drained out nice and neatly. Eh? Now, this is now sterilized, ready for you to bottle. So you can see, to make my life a bit easier, come back to me a second, James. I put my bucket of cider on a little table on the countertop, which means then I can quite easily to all stood up and not melt down on the floor. But you can see I'm getting a good seal on the bottles. All I'm doing is just holding it so it doesn't fall over. just keep going until you've got all your bottles filled. If you find that your flow doesn't stop and it starts pouring out of your breather pipe, that's because the fine adjustment screw needs a little bit of adjustment. So what you need to do if it doesn't stop flowing, is under it a couple, a quarter turn. Stop the flow. Move on to your next part, the bottle. And start it again. In here is a spring and a ball bearing which presses against this shaft. It's um, inside the the bottle filler. And so it's that um, pressure that stops the filler from happening. So you say, tiny little turn, try the next bottle. If it carried on flowing out again, I would have perhaps undone it a little bit more. And as you can see, the flow stops exactly as we're wanting it.